Why are you taking photos of buildings? Yes, I've seen the footage here. Today has really been a crazy day. Yeah, of course. Ah, I mean, my head even spinning up to now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy. Yeah, it was so hard. Trust so me. what happened today was, um, you know, me coming to Zambia, I really never knew that Zambia was this beautiful because anytime I hear about Zambia, it's about safari and the rest. So when um, I told him to take me to the city center, I was blown away. And then like we went there and then we started like walking in the city center with cameras started I think you left us eh? Yeah, I was back in the car. Uh -huh. So I was like I wanted to follow you guys. Yeah. Then a few minutes they'll be like, ah guys, we caught up. I yeah. Was, I was even surprised. So like, we were arrested whilst we had our camera in our hands, you know, trying to um check out how beautiful the city is. But and you know, we're mobbed. There's, there's one guy yeah. who came to us and he said why are you filming? Do you know that this place yeah, is there? They came so aggressive. So aggressive. And then all of a sudden, we're surrounded by so many people. Zambians. Exactly. Because, okay, let me say the truth. To us here in mm -hmm. Zambia, we are peaceful people. Yeah. But we have such people, bad people like him. Okay. Because what we were doing, it was a wrong thing. Yeah. Because it wasn't, we are not shooting him, we are not shooting people, we are just shooting the building and how yeah. beautiful. How beautiful yes. the streets are. Yeah. And that thing, it will also help us more because when you people, your subscribers mm -hmm. watch that how beautiful Zambia is, they mm -hmm. might even come. Come, yeah. yeah, because we never. There is no bad thing what we have saw today. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, well, uh, like for me, it's my first time to be here in Zambia, mm -hmm. and I was so fascinated that some streets in Zambia, they look all like they look the same, not even almost the same. They, they look the same as. Uh, Nairobi CBD in Kenya. In Kenya. Like how, how the street is, how people are selling. So even yeah. when we were arrested, we were actually talking about that that in, that, that moment. That was what yeah. we were talking about. Because I've been to Kenya and I saw it and I was like, wow, this is like CBD Kenya. And he's like, yeah, yeah. he's even surprised. And then this guy came to us, a lot of people surrounded us. They asked, where are you from? I said, I'm from Ghana. Two grown up men with white beard and gray hair. <laughs> you, know, you know, gray <laughs> hair. Yeah. Uh -huh. said, oh, Ghana. Criminal, you and Nigerians. And trust me, that that same person who said uh, the same word, mm -hmm. they're not even a Zambian because Zambian people they don't insult people. Trust Bro, me. no, they don't. They are not, no, they can't say they are not. Maybe you are Zambian, that's why you don't want to say. No, that. no, I'm not that. I'm defending Zambia. No, me. listen, because the same person who was mm -hmm. there, he cannot ins look at the way when we went to the police people. Yeah, the way they helped us. Yeah, they were like, ah, no, what do we arrest? Yeah, I'm not defending because of Zambia, yeah. but that that man, if I follow him right now or ask him, to be honest, he's not a true Zambian. Because Zambian people, they don't insult, they don't. Maybe like you fight, then you joke. It, 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 was, it was so crazy. Like he yeah. said, they are criminals, they can we, be terrorists. And we were handled like terrorists. You were handled like terrorists. You were not there. We were handled like terrorists. Like the guy took, a, took the whole cameras from us. You know, a lot of people surrounded us, even taking our passports. us. Even our pa they even took our, they passport. took our passports. And they said, where are the security men over here? And they called security men for us. Uh, like and then the security man came and was they, like I think, I think they called first the military that guy was it the military no no that's the, the police that's the police uh, normal police the, normal no, the, police. Yeah. The, the, guy. the first one the first I didn't saw my dad the first I one. only saw those guys when I entered to, uh, into the office those the one guys, who was wearing those, green yeah those are not police those are just normal police, normal police. yeah the, the military they wear such a color like mm -hmm. this yes they don't wear that one okay. and the military they don't found in town they always okay. out of town yeah, but okay, to be honest, uh, let me say the truth to your farm. We apologize on behalf of what happened. <laughs> you saw it? <laughs> yeah, I was there. I was suffered with you. Uh, it was one o'clock. Was it uh, one? One? Uh, yeah, before one. one. And before then one. We stayed there so. Like almost three. like four, yeah, four hours. Like four hours. We are four to five hours. We are fighting. Uh, and they, and they took us to the bank, and the bank doesn't even want to hear anything. Yeah. Even the time you called me, like the time like he called me, I asked him, "What are you wearing?" He was like, "I'm not going to." Wear. I said, "Yo, I'm not going to run away. Why would I run? Hey, if I want hey. to run away, I wouldn't call you." Yeah. Yeah. Then when I reached there, he hold me like I was like, "Excuse me, don't hold my hand like this. I'm not a criminal." So can you take me to the office and explain man, what happened? Now this man like he claimed to be a journalist. Yeah. And he's not. But he, he is didn't not, uh, prove honest. himself because as a journalist you should have. Uh, certified documents that exactly. prove that you are a journalist. Uh -huh. you, have, you should have a, what do you call it? A license. Like, uh -huh. to it be was a journalist. Like 
You know, I've been arrested in so many countries, but sometimes it happened in a quick way. But this was just like I felt. I felt like it's even sad to call yourself an African sometimes, because this guy immediately he had like I told him that I'm from Ghana. So oh, Ghana and Nigeria criminals. You know, we went there into the into the bank. The security, like the main security boss at the bank. Oh, immediately I said, oh, Ghana. And, oh, so you people are the ones sending those scam emails. Imagine. Imagine. And uh, and then imagine. So how all the people? Oh, all the like people how, who have white hair. How gray can hair. you? How can you say that the entire Ghanaians and Nigerians are like that? Yeah. It, it was it was like listen to me like I, I felt so bad to call myself African at that very moment because they didn't even want to hear us talk and all the time it was that guy talking talking talking. The they said they said no go to the room. They put us in a small room like the room that you came. That's the same room. That's the same room. They put us in that room. Like we can't use our phones. We can't even talk to you. So that's why they were calling you. And then when I called, they, they called you to talk. They said, "You see, that guy doesn't even know them." I was like, "What? How come?" You just wanted to make the situation situation uh, feel... big. Okay, yeah. uh, let me not say the truth. Uh, you know, you should sometimes yeah, don't give up that you're an African. We're all African. Yeah, no, but it, yeah, they didn't want... treat us Africans. Yeah. But what I say, like, wherever you go, any countries, you find such bad people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but what I'm trying to people. say is mm. that, what I'm trying to say is that, treating ourselves like this, like if I meet a Gambian, oh, I meet a Zambian in Ghana, uh -huh. and then I want to do the same thing to him, definitely, exactly. because of my experience in your country. You, you, you get what I mean? Yeah. B because even from there, they said they should take us to the police station. When he went to that police station, he refused. Those like, people to refuse to talk to her because they said this is a big case. These people can be, you know, so something. They took us to the central police, and then they took yeah. us to another police a, station. That's central police. That's the the biggest. And I wanna say thank you so much, to the officer. If you are watching this video, the officer who handled the case, he handled the case perfectly. He saw the videos and like, I don't see anything wrong with this video. And when he was talking <laughs> to me, uh, one of the my subscribers, YouTube subscribers, actually came in and was like, Oh, what am I? <laughs> and everything like solved everything over there so um what happened i felt so bad like all the, like hours like spending hours thinking since that since morning I'm, since morning thinking since that i'm morning. a terrorist i'm a criminal because i'm from ghana nigeria no. but hey, don't, okay don't mm -hmm. think even when i called Lil matawa yeah she was like the first thing she told me she was like you know that, that's that try to solve things in in an order way yeah that person he's jealous to be honest because when the time we looked at him like because right now we didn't he didn't even got any benefit yeah. he didn't get paid he didn't get anything and he wasted like four hours he was busy talking Talking to everyone, moving we inside, moving from everyone. police moving. to another police, from side to another side, because we are not even wrong. Yeah, I don't know. And the funny thing is, when mm. we went to the central police, and the police uh, man told him that we did nothing wrong, he felt ashamed and he and he went away. He ran away. He ran away. And then, like yeah. you know, the, he even wasted that policeman's time. That, exactly. Like all, and the other police came. Like, oh my god! Like what happened? Like he. Yeah, they were so crazy. It was crazy. Like I wish, yeah. like you guys can see what really happened. <laughs> yeah, you know, by telling them, they they, they, don't, they it's be, easy. They yeah. don't even understand. It was yeah. it was super crazy. It like was, uh, with again, it was hot and with the traffic jam where we are moving from side to another, from other but side. But you know, like being treated as a terrorist in your own country. You know, you yourself, you're you're innocent, and you're trying to show the beauty of Africa, the beauty of Zambia. And if someone treats you like this, this because that person who who uh, took our cameras. First of all, he's not a policeman. He's a normal citizen. Actually, I wasn't uh, there. If I was there, I wouldn't even allow him to touch you. you man, it, it, was not, it was only one person. Oh, they came, yeah. They, they all, you know, crowd like, of people. crowd of people. When they, they started calling yeah. us criminals, they can be terrorists, a lot of people mocked us. Yeah. So two people took our camera and took us inside the bank that we are taking. And we are not even taking that. We are just walking. So he saw us with the camera and he said, what are you doing with the camera? And all, the, all of a sudden, all those things happened. It was crazy. The time we were calling you, they didn't want us to talk to you because they think maybe you can be the other spy who is coming to. Exactly. See, that's what the guy is saying. I won't tell you the clothes well, that I'm... Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Then I was surprised, like, yo, if I want to run, I wouldn't even call you. Why would I do that? It's been crazy, man. Yeah. But um, like I said, I'm not going to give up on showing the real part of Africa that they don't show on TV. Yes, today has been crazy, but um, tomorrow I'll still hit the street. And um, yeah, I just never hope I don't get arrested because, again. You know, no, I'm not giving up on this project. You swear, yeah, the, what, the good thing when you want, you have to suffer for it. Exactly. For you, because you don't look at right now, you've been 
this is not your first time to be actually today we didn't even arrest it yeah it was just talking and fight Fine. yes but still look at how you are right now you're mm. very far so what i would advise you keep it up and that policeman i wish i would have seen him again he had helped us a lot thank yeah. you so much yeah so yeah he handled the case he handled very the case professionally and, and told the guy to leave Zambia. and then told us to go away so hey zambians i'm not gonna say anything again but trust me you're gonna see beautiful footages from your boy mr moya i'm actually surprised in here the beauty that i'm seeing because personally i thought zambia would be like you know gonna see lions everywhere and then <laughs> <laughs> no actually you see. haven't even seen the beauty of zambia like the roads which i shown you that's not even beauty there are more if today we had more time we'd have Go to more. all those places. Yes, but now the problem he stepped our program. Yeah. Because what I was thinking from there, I wanted to take you another place yes. to see how pure it is. No problem. Yes. So we yeah, are. Uh, mm. Like Zambia, it actually took me back home. When when I was working in the Zambian streets, the uh -huh. of, in the in the in the town, like it actually took me back to Nairobi. I felt like I was in Nairobi City. You know, like it feels so nice to be. Have a very long time. Like it, I I really felt nice. Man. Wow. So you're welcome and let me apologize on behalf of everyone. It's all right. And it's all right. thank you so much for your time, your beautiful time that you have given us. And we really appreciate it. We are, we are, we are, we are together. To... We are still together <laughs> until I don't know when you're going. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, man. Zambians, yeah. yeah, it's good to be here. It's good to be home. Okay. So if you see any call, please make sure that you comment. Yeah. <laughs> you tell us what's wrong with us. <laughs> if we are terrorists. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so we crazy. Have a good cause to promote the country, the <laughs> continent, and stay tuned for more videos. Yeah, and make sure you subscribe and like it and share, please, <laughs> so that everyone watches how beautiful we are. Thank you. Peace out.